Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. In a previous video, I was discussing where the grounded conductor and the equipment grounding conductor are bonded. In other words, I was discussing where the neutral and the ground get bonded. And I received an interesting question about the cables that pass through this middle panel here. It is called a main lug only panel because it doesn't have a main disconnect. The first panel is a meter enclosure with a disconnect. The second panel is the MLO and the third panel is an automatic transfer switch. You see the cables come from the meter enclosure with disconnect through the MLO. You see they go through the bottom of the MLO over to the automatic transfer switch. So the question is, is that legal? Can you run cables through another panel like that? So here we are at the 2023 NEC, and this is article 312.8, switch and overcurrent device enclosures. The wiring space within enclosure. That MLO panel is an enclosure. Four switches and overcurrent devices shall be permitted for other wiring and equipment subject to limitations for specific equipment as provided in 312.8a and b. So here is 312.8a and it is splices, taps, and feed through conductors. The wiring space of enclosures for switches or overcurrent devices shall be permitted for conductors feeding through, spliced, or tapping off to other enclosures, switches, or overcurrent devices where all of the following conditions are met. One, the total of all conductors installed at any cross section of the wiring space does not exceed 40% of the cross sectional area of that space. Two, the total area of all conductors, splices, and taps installed at any cross section of the wiring space does not exceed 75% of the cross sectional area of that space. And number three, so this is new for 2023. You can tell because of the shaded area here. Number three, the bending space for conductors for AWG and larger complies with 314.28A2. So in our example, our conductors are 3AWG, so they are larger than 4AWG, but they're going straight through. They're not bent at all. So this wouldn't affect us in our example. Four, a warning label complying with 110.21B, which says they have to be a quality permanent type label, is applied to the enclosure that identifies the closest disconnecting means for any feed through conductors. B, power monitoring or energy management equipment. The wiring space of enclosures for switches or overcurrent devices shall be permitted to contain power monitoring or energy management equipment in accordance with 312.8 B1 through B3. Yes, it's fine to have this cable running through this panel because this panel isn't too crowded. There's no severe bends in this cable here. And you do need to put a sticker on the outside cover of this panel saying that the disconnect is over here at the meter enclosure with disconnect. I'll put a link in my video description for the video from which this question was asked and I'll put a link for the original competition video. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.